Hey everybody, everything's going great for my swing evolution and I hope it's going great for yours too. So I am so proud and happy to report that together we have passed 7 million views on my swing evolution and what a thrill. We even passed 21,000 subscribers on the same day. I was so excited when I woke up this morning uh, and I saw the numbers and uh, I can't thank everyone enough. We've built a great golfing community with people who love the classic golf swing and classic golfers and we're all getting better together. It's so exciting. Guys, the last time I teed it up I shot two under par. And I had two three putts and a couple other stupid bogeys. Like that round could have been crazy low. Like I am really starting to get somewhere. And I had a sneaking suspicion I might go low that day because I'm driving the ball pretty long and straight right now. And I've been working on my short irons and wedges to try and dial it in. I made six birdies in that round. So it was quite a lot of fun. And uh, I had it to three under par for a long time, you know. So uh, I do believe a round in the 60s is going to be coming uh, hopefully in the near future. So I wanted to share with you guys a couple things today. So um, when I practiced before I played the last time, I used an alignment aid to help me uh, get more accurate because uh, my I'm really hitting the ball solid. Now I just got to figure out how to aim it. And the last time I went out, I came up with a really great training drill that I'd love to share with you. I'm calling it the double helix because the way the body kind of works, it holds the double helix together as you go around um, the way you should with a golf swing. So that's pretty cool. So thank you so much for all the views. Keep hitting them long and hit them straight. So this is the first time I think I've used an alignment aid in uh, my swing evolution. And I've always said that, uh, or at least told myself, that I'm not going to worry about aiming it until I know I've got my engine running at full capacity. So uh, happily, I feel like my engine is running pretty well. So it's time to see uh, what the alignment aid tells me. And the first thing I noticed, just hitting my wedges, I've got that stick aimed right at my target, uh, down my target line. And when I line up to it, I feel like I'm aimed about five degrees left. And that's where the ball goes, about five degrees left. It's really, really weird, but this is the next step if I'm going to get accurate, you know, with these short irons and wedges. So here's a new interesting tidbit. Um, I found that when I went from the half swings into the stronger swings like three quarter, full swings, um, I actually start to put some draw spin on the ball, which again makes it come back in to the left. Um, again, all this stuff is research and Ben Hogan said you should have a notebook and be able to take notes about what you're working on. I've got a video camera. definitely crept into my game as a better player is I hit wedges all day long now when I was a, you know really starting out my swing evolution drivers it's all about the other end of the bag trying to hit it so far but I think that it's important to be able to learn how to hit it off the tee and kind of get that long game in order and then you naturally start to work on the shorter things because it just feels terrible when you can't get off the tee it's just demoralizing but now it's time to dial in these short irons so that's my swing evolution
Hey guys, so I think I just came up with the greatest golf drill of all time. <laughs> At least for my swing evolution and the things that I'm working on. I think this drill is the number one drill and uh, it's pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie to you, the way I came up with this, I was hanging out with Pete Sampras and I was trying to explain to him how I use my lower body and uh, I just grabbed onto my right hip with my left hand and started pulling it around and I'm like, man, this is, this is it. This is the co most clear way to explain what the feel is of what your body's supposed to go through when you hit a golf ball. And uh, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. 